Hello again, this is my second video for ART Awesome Edso Tutorials. Today won't really be a, much of a tutorial, it'll be more of a more overview of the Smart House and its features. So, it's right there. Okay, okay that's better. I'm gonna just run over to it. So if you haven't noticed already, I'm playing in 1.9 because of the things up here. If you can see what uh, the big mouse is. And also I'm dual wielding. I have a shield in one hand and something else in the other. In this case, it's a sword. So if you ever want to switch them, you can either press F or just go into your inventory and grab it out. There are also Electras and Dragon Heads, which basically as you're moving or if you place the little on block on them, they yap. That's what I call it. You guys can call it whatever you want. But another thing is, is the command blocks are faster and more accurate, so I didn't have any problems opening the door like the last video. I don't know if I showed that or if I just edited it out. But they also look different. They auto-updated to what they needed to be. So these old command blocks have updated to the new ones with the pulsing lights. And you can now do Oz Active, Repeat, Impulse Chain, Unconditional, Conditional, all these different options. There are more commands. There are better displays and all that. And they're basically faster, more accurate, and can do a bigger range. So I'm just gonna go over to the mob grinder. Oh, and that was if that doesn't that's not really a super complex door to me at least. It's just I took half of the Jeb door. The classic Jeb door. I don't know really who that was made by. So this is half of it. If I wanted a two block thing to open, then I put the other half right here. Yeah, I don't mean that block, because that's not important. But if any of you guys didn't know how to use the dragon head or the electro, the dragon head you simply just place on your head, no commands needed. And the electra it works best in F5, press it once in my opinion. So what you do is when you're falling you press space and look where you want to go. You can't fly up otherwise you'll lose momentum and your limbs will start shaking like that. But you can make up obstacle courses, flying through the rings, and why is there a pig in my log grinder? And so, there are the command blocks when they're on the repeat on is active look like this. The only reason this one is not is because if I did that, it would not let me have infinite health. But these other ones, they let me have all that other stuff wherever I am in the world, even if I'm a thousand Minecraft miles away. The end rods are basically a light source. They look kind of cool, in my opinion. They give off that. You can find them in the end, with the new expanded end. And there, that's also where you find the um, Elytra, which is on my back. Just place it where the chest plate would be. You cannot place any armor on when you have it on. Well, you can. I take that back. You can, but you can't place a chest plate on. So if you want a full set of diamond armor, you're only going to have to settle for without the chest plate if you want the Elytra. But as you've seen, I've had to expand this because, well, the witches drop the most. And because the mob loot was, well, do mob loot command was turned off for some reason, so the mobs wouldn't drop anything. But now that that's on, it, they'll drop stuff like normal. But since it's 1.9 also, I've been able to add command blocks instead of those things because these are much faster and more accurate. All I have to do is click that and then thousands of them drop onto the ground below and die. So you can do this with any mob in Minecraft as long as you know the commands. And the new thing with the command blocks is you didn't, I don't think you were able to do this before, just start typing it press tab and it will automatically fill it in and then you can activate it this one I had to put a wall around because I don't know why but the zombie pigmen refused to just go in a straight line they like to do that so and let's see there we go oh and it doesn't matter now when they're when the end, rod, end rods or any lighting sources around them 
Uh, I forgot you could do that. Yeah, you can make um, double thing and make it look like a space prison or something. With the new purple blocks, which are just purple blocks. I guess, hence the name. And they'll still spawn because these aren't natural spawners. You're just summoning them in from I don't know where monsters come from. And they can spawn whenever, wherever, with command blocks. You can spawn, spawn an ender dragon in the real world. Or the Minecraft world, I guess. You can place them on any block. They can go any direction, even upside down. Which makes them really good for chandeliers. And that makes them look cool. So, Creeper, I think I already did that. But it's a lot faster than the old thing. And the reason this wall is here is because I just, in my opinion, this looks really cool. And if any of you guys don't like witches getting hurt, then don't watch this part. Because I'm just going to drop them all on this block. And where's my brightness? There it is. So, oh, I have hitboxes on. So if I do that, hitboxes are gone. Turn it off. They'll basically splay out in a circle when they fall, like that. In my opinion, looks really cool. That's why I have that wall there. It's not because they shoot all over like the zombie pigment. I don't know what's wrong with them. And I'm sorry if I sound a little sick. I might be. I don't know. And so everything else is still the same except for this redstone wire that's been running along. That just acts. Okay. I don't know why I flew over here, but that just acts as a like over over dry over. I don't know. It lets me bypass the. Um, it lets me bypass the switches in the house and this solar panel thingy. It's not really solar panel. I made it look like that. But if you look inside, I'm just gonna go into game mode three. So it's me to fly, fly through stuff. And just a bunch of daylight sensors with redstone wire underneath them. They aren't really creating power, but I do like that look of them where it looks like a solar panel. And then it gives that power. And oops. So another thing is, well, I think the redstone, the new hit, oh yeah, the new hitboxes are smaller. So you can't hit this part and hit the block without hitting the block. You only hit this now. But I don't think it'll let me... Nope. It won't let me. So... My skeletons look new too. I don't know what is, what is his problem. And... Uh, the reason I'm able to one-hit kill them with my hand is because, no, this block is not enchanted, but... Okay, that was weird. But it's because I have strength a million. If I look in whoops, my inventory, I have strength one million. I don't know what's going on with the instant health thing. I don't remember placing it there. I don't know, maybe really epic fire did. I don't know if really epic fire, that's not his actual name, duh. If he, I don't know if he wants his actual name in, the, in my videos, but I'm just not going to say it until I get approval from him. He is the second redstone expert in, not second best, he is pretty much the best redstone expert in this house. I'm the one that just did these lights, so they're very simple circuits, but for the door, for the door thing over here, let's see, oh yeah, for the, for the entire opening circuit and all that, I'm the only one, I'm the one that did the give the block to him and all that, but he's the one that built all this, the automated door with key lock system, he built all of this, all credit goes to him, and if you ever see him in any maps, I don't know, I don't know, thank him or something, because I haven't seen him in a long time, but that's pretty, everything's pretty much the same here except for he is building something outside like it's one of those 
giant redstone robot thingies. Or maybe that's the one I blew up. I don't know. It's probably this. Yeah, this is probably what he's been doing. And it's just, he, he just builds stuff like that. So, let's see. Nothing is changing. Maybe it's a passcode thing. Oh! Look at that. Hmm. Well, I don't know what he's building, but he is definitely building something. It's probably that up there. No, that's his old base thing. Um, but now with the 1.9, you can have a bunch of command block stuff that's new. My exploding arrows can be even easier. If you want the command for the exploding arrows, just let me know, and I'll leave that in the description below or in one of my next videos. But for now, I guess that's it. I will see you guys later.